See, you're here early for a change. Jesus Christ, what the hell are you trying to do to me? Give me a heart attack. I thought you said you'd call. I did. Your mobile phone must be switched off. Maybe it was a bad signal. So what's your verdict on the matter? Well, it's quite straightforward. The deceased is a well-known prostitute in the area. By the looks of things, her killer broke the door in. Maybe she owed money to a pimp. And after attempting to make a run for it, he caught up with her. By the way the bed sheets are displaced, I'd say you had her on the bed. A brief struggle, she broke free, he went for her and pushed her out the window. These rooms are security fitted with an intercom that's attached to the front of the building. Well, like I said, she's well known in the area. It could have been a punter. I think she knew the killer. And I think she let him in. Well, at least we agree on one thing. Post-mortem results came back. She was about three months pregnant. Well, so much for using contraception. More likely so. She had a boyfriend or a lover. She let him in thinking he'd be glad of the news. He flips. He doesn't want a child, especially not with a working woman. Maybe he already had a family. Mm. That doesn't explain why her suitcase is left open. She must have been trying to escape from something. Just like the door. He could have put it there to cover his tracks. Call forensics. We'll get them to check the prints. Mm. Isn't your wife expecting? No. False alarm.